Hello friends, welcome back. I have already uh, added uh, two templates called single-movie.php and single-person.php. Okay, so I have created uh, these two templates here. So because I have like like before that, let me just give you an ex- uh, overview. So let's say I have activated a, a, a 2021 team. Okay, and if I go to the movies. Uh, and I, we have uh, added these actors uh, in uh, Metabox as well, right? And we also have this uh, genre taxonomy. Similarly, for people, we have careers taxonomy. And we also uh, added a relationship between people, uh, person, and a movie's post type uh, using the set of taxonomy, right? So, <clears throat> um, so let's say if I visit this uh, into the front end, it, you can see the content itself, but there is no career taxonomy content here, no meta information displayed here. Okay, and similar to the uh, person post type as well. So if I go to the people, if I go to uh, view, okay, so here only the actor information uh, will be there. No career taxonomy terms or or the list of the movies by the actor. Okay, so how we can how can we do that? So for that, I have created a child theme, and in the child theme, I have override this uh, added a template called single hyphen movie, then single person. So as we have seen into the template hierarchy video right so uh, template hierarchy depends on for the single so single.php is the uh, main uh, then top of that we have single hyphen post type okay so uh, if so based uh, like i have created a template based on the post type the single hyphen movie which will be this template will be used for the movie uh, uh, movie post types post and this single person dot php will use for the person post type post okay and i have just create uh, and override the template parts as well like created movie library person and for the single movie uh, movie library movie okay so in the tw- template parts uh, i have added a movie dot php under the movie library folder and the person dot php here okay and in this uh and in this template parts i have displayed the career taxonomy and the latest movies by for the actor okay and uh, in the in the movie.php file i have displayed a genre taxonomy of that movie and the list of the actors assigned to that movie okay so if i uh, go back here uh, go to the appearance now activate our child theme okay go to the movies again uh, view them uh, here so now you can see the a genre taxonomy right and the actors assigned to that movie okay and similarly if i if i go to the people here and uh, visit this uh, page here you can see the uh, actor uh, its career its actor and the latest movies right so this information i have displayed by adding a template to the child team so i don't have to uh, override add this template to our parent team itself because next time if the updates comes my changes will be gone right so this way we can uh, we can uh, override the override the templates as well the functionality and you can also notice that I haven't added any styles or NQ the styles or anything because I want to use the the, the 2021 theme styles itself like I just want to override the template and the functionality so similarly but if you also want to override the CSS then in that case uh, you have to uh, write the CSS into the style or CSS file or create a CSS separate file and then NQ that file okay and uh, and similarly let's say uh, also let's move to uh, not just the templates but also uh, you can override these template parts okay uh, so let's say there is a footer footer which is a template uh, i have modified right and created a second sidebar here so what i can do i can simply copy uh, sorry not a cut uh, uh, let me just paste it again um, okay let me just copy this one um, go to the 2021 child team go to the template parts and paste it here okay uh, so this is the footer widgets we have added it here and this is these are the changes i have made and let me just uh, remove the footer widgets uh, uh, templates from here so i will simply can remove this code here okay so that code i have removed um, but still if you go here so here our uh, main footer and the footer to sidebar and if i refresh the page okay still you can see the footer to sidebar content because wordpress also allows to override the template parts 
um, in the child theme. Okay, so you, I have just copied the uh, code, uh, pasted into the child theme, and then removed that code from this um, main parent theme. Okay, and similarly, you can also move all this. Uh, so, like for example, this without comment, we have created a custom template. So I can simply move to the child theme. Okay, and it will still work. Uh, so if I go here, uh, go to the hello world here, you can you can still see that we have removed the comments, right? Because we have assigned a template. So it doesn't matter whether um, the, th the temp custom template is exists in the parent team or the child team, it should be exist, right? In the, and also in the post meta, the, the part will have only the relative part, not with the theme folders part. That's why it's working. Okay, and similarly, you can also move um the home.php here because we have customized it then header one which we have created separate header front page.php here um then footer one dot also here we can move and this is the in the functions.php file we have added a second sidebar right footer sidebar so how we can move this uh, as well so what i can do i can simply um uh, add a functions.php file into the child theme so uh, add a new file called functions.php file okay and okay so this is like a file theme uh, functions for example okay and go to the this functions.php file uh, move to the uh, this like this is the code right we have added so what I will do I will simply copy paste this entire function uh, along with the add action okay and simply go here uh, and paste it okay uh, we don't want everything so already this primary footer sidebar one is already registered so i will simply remove this because we don't want to register uh, anything and we will uh, this function is already exists and since uh, no function exist uh, no function exist condition used here so i have to rename this function so i will add it like 2021 child with it in it okay so and use this one Okay, so now we have uh, moved our changes from parent theme functions.php uh, to our um, child theme, right? And still, if you go here, go to the dashboard, go to the appearance uh, widgets, um, still you can see the footer two and the footer one, right? So, and it's also displaying into the front end. So if I go to the movies view, you can still see the footer to sidebar content okay so this way you can also uh, add or override or add new functionality and also you can override for example um this uh, 2021 setup function has used the function exist check so if you want to override this entire function then you can just copy this function paste it in your child team function.php file and this function from the parent team won't be used because uh, our child theme functions.php file will be loaded first and then the parent theme okay so so this way uh, and because of it uh, wordpress allows the child theme to override the functionality uh, and uh, like of the parent theme okay but let's say for example we don't have to do uh, like uh, we don't have to like we have to just remove the theme support for example for that we don't have to uh, like override entire function or copy the entire function for example let's say i want to remove the post thumbnail support as an example so how we can do that without overriding this uh, copy this function into our child team functions and just remove this line right so in this case what we can do is that um so this functions has been hooked to the after setup theme okay after setup theme so i will just call use this function for example here at the let me just add the top here okay uh, add a function okay and i will add child setup for example okay and uh, what i will do is i will remove the theme support using uh remove theme support sorry spelling mistake yeah remove uh theme support function and i will just copy uh the post thumbnails let me just copy so that i don't make spelling mistakes <laughs> okay so post thumbnails okay and simply add it here and now we have to add this function, hook this function to the uh, after setup theme hook. Okay. So yeah, here, mm, copy this one, added it here. Okay. But still it won't be used. Uh, it won't remove the theme support because we have added actions. We have did everything, but our 
child team function.php file loaded first. So our action will be loaded first as a default priority 10. And then parent team function will uh, register this action on after setup theme hook on the same priority. So if the, uh, if the callback function register to the hook, hook uh, particular hook on the same priority, then it will, uh, it will be executed in the sequence, like which one has been uh, uh, registered at a, uh, registered first, right? So in that case, our, our function will be execute first and then the parent team uh, function execute first. So in that case, uh, it won't remove even after this calling the function because uh, we will removing first and then parent team is adding it first. So what we can do like it's uses a 10 priority. So we will do on 11 priority here. I will just add 11 priority so that even if our function uh, uh, add action function call first, but since it's a 11 priority and the default uh, like the after setter team action into the parent team, it's registered on default priority. So our our function will be executed later. Okay, so if I go here now, go to the dashboard, um, then go to the like, for example, movies, go to the test movie exam example, you now you can see there is no featured image here, because it has been removed. If you go also with the posts, uh, go to the like uh, post embed template. And you can see there is no featured uh, a featured image right so we have removed the uh, post thumbnail support but let me just remove it because we need uh, we needed uh, support so i will simply just recommend that code and now you can see the featured image here okay so this way uh, you can override the functionality like the team supports you can remove you can override the functions as well if it has used the function exist check okay then and then only a child team can override the functions of the parent team else it it cannot be because it will give a fatal error then we have to find a different way to override the functionality yeah thanks for watching see you on the next one jai wordpress